After an outcry for change, we're seeing some movement tonight when it comes to getting a forensic lab in Shelby County. For more than a decade, we've told you about the backlog of rape kit testing. WRG's Alex Coleman looks into why state lawmakers are now studying the problem and what it could mean for criminal justice. When it comes to rape kit testing and justice, some say it doesn't always happen in a timely manner in Memphis. There's a delicate balance between the rights of the victim and the rights of the accused, but we are not meeting either because we're, we're jammed up. We've got a log jam. As your news leader has reported, there's been a loud outcry over the rape kit backlog in Tennessee and the lack of a crime lab in Memphis. But Representative G.A. Hardaway of Memphis has pushed for the state to study the feasibility of having a crime lab in Shelby County. Well, I'm looking for a more efficient and effective crime lab. We're going to set the model for the rest of the nation and, and probably the world. The Tennessee Advisory Commission on Intergovernmental Relations, or TASSER, is meeting this week in Nashville to examine the rape kit issue, the cost of funding a crime lab, the economic impact on the county, and whether it would speed up the backlog of testing evidence. We can say, woe is us, look at the problem, or we can jump in uh, with both feet and hands and try to find a solution to work, and so that's what the hope is with this TASSER study. For more than a decade, WREG has reported on the long delays in testing rape kits and the almost 12,000 that were never tested. Back in February, Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy explained why a crime lab is needed. I think it could be a game changer in terms of increasing our solve rate, which is really the important thing that we need to improve if we are going to bend the curve on crime. Many point to the case of Cleotha Abston, the man sentenced to 80 years for the rape of Alicia Franklin and accused of kidnapping and killing Eliza Fletcher. It's simple. If uh, Miss Franklin had gotten timely justice, then Eliza Fletcher would still be alive today. But now, possible hope on the horizon for rape kit testing and a crime lab in Shelby County. We definitely want to make sure that we do it. It's not, this is not a partisan issue. This, this is about victims, victims' rights. Reporting for your news leader in Memphis, Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. That advisory panel will meet again tomorrow and could eventually present its findings to the General Assembly.